Hi everybody, so if you want to make a room in your house look like it's been remodeled, we all know that painting is a huge trick, but one thing that can actually make it take it to a whole new level is making sure you properly paint your baseboards. Over time, baseboards can get scuffed, they can get dings and dents in them, making them look really, really worn. So all you need to do in order to get this done, I'm going to show you two ways. You need a little knowledge, you need the equipment, and uh, it's a little time consuming, but boy, does it make it look fantastic. There are two ways you can repaint your baseboards. I'll show you the outcome of both when we're done. A great tip is to use a high gloss white paint. This will help keep off the scuffs and will make your room pop. For our first baseboard painting job, you will need painter's tape, white glossy paint, paint pan, a paint pad, paint brush, drop cloth to protect the floor. First, you can use painter's tape to mark off the walls and floor. Cover the floor with a drop cloth. Pour your paint in a paint pan. Now use your paint pad to paint the flap portion of the baseboards. Next, use a paintbrush to fill in the areas that the pad can't reach. Let dry and reapply until it's nice and new looking. Once it's all done, let it dry and carefully remove the painter's tape. If you want to take it one step further to make your baseboards look more like brand new baseboards, or if you have to resurface your floors, here's a secret the experts use. You will need an X-Acto knife, pry bar, hammer, needle nose pliers, safety gloves, a belt sander or sandpaper, wood filler, latex caulking, a small roller, a drop cloth, and white glossy paint. First, take an X-Acto knife to break the caulking seal from the baseboards at the wall. Now, use a pry bar and a hammer to pry the boards loose from the wall. A good tip, pry baseboards from underneath so you don't damage your walls. Pull out the baseboards, and once they're out, you will need needle nose pliers to pull out the nails. Use those safety gloves and twist and pull the nails towards you to get them out. If you can't get them out that way, you can really cut them off at the base of the baseboards. Next step, use a lightly damp cloth to wipe down and get anything off of the baseboards. Now, sand down the baseboards to get out any rough edges. Fill any holes or dents with wood filler. Once the filler dries, sand again. Now it's time to paint. Over a drop cloth, use a small roller to paint the baseboards. Let that paint dry and add another coat until it's covered the way you like it. Once the baseboards dry, nail them back into the wall. If you don't have a nail gun, hammer in no head nails and use another nail to tap it in past the wood. Now use caulking to finish it off at the top. Run your finger over the caulking right away just to make sure you have a smooth seam to the wall. Put caulking over any nail holes and then you can cover that with a little paint. So, the difference between the two, in my opinion, is that when you paint it directly on the wall, it looks good, but not quite as great as if you just take it out, do the work off site, and put it back in. That way, it kind of looks a little more like brand new baseboards. But boy, if you don't have the equipment to do that, or you don't have the time, you can just paint it directly on the wall and still get a fantastic look. If you'd like more information, go to 9news.com fixthis fix this.